Hello, my name is El Pangera and welcome to this Photoshop video. So sometimes when you've got a group, uh, you can resize it and rotate it. In this example, I've made a group. I've got a bunch of, I've got a text layer and a bunch of geometric objects and some Venetian objects. And But let's say if I want to do something else, I want to make it 3D, I want to use a distort effect. You can find this in Edit transform distort however you notice that it's grayed out so in order to distort the entire group and this is pretty relevant if you're making a very complex sort of image in Photoshop it may be best to rasterize the text layer if you want to keep it uh, my suggestion is just simply to create a new file so I'm just going to drag the text layer into this new image just in case I need to change the text later so with the original image all I have to do is right click on this text layer and go to rasterize type so if I scroll back and I collapse it and I click on the group and when I go to edit transform you see them that distort is now be able to select it so now I can distort as I will so what I've noticed is that shape layers do not affect this so this is a, a new example I've got I put uh, it's in a group this is my shape layer here I'm going to collapse the group and I'm going to select the group individually and if you can see if I go to edit transform distort and perspective is selected so I can use it to my will like that so shape layers don't actually have any effect during this but I have noticed that smart layers do so if I go to the group and I'll just take this box for example and I'm just going to turn it into a smart layer to do that all I'm just got to do is right click on the layer go to convert to smart object it's also found within the layer as well layer smart objects convert to smart object so I'm going to turn it into a smart object and you see if I collapse the group and I go to edit, I go to transform, you see that this store perspective and warp is grayed out. So just like the text layer, you have to convert the smart object into a rasterized layer before you're able to do a group. So to do that, we simply go back to uh, our group, open it up, do our uh, changes if we want to on our smart layer once we rasterize the smart object layer notice that the shape layer is still on uh, still a shape layer if we collapse the group we select the group once again and we go to edit transform now we can use the skew distort and perspective that's unfortunately what we have to do basically it's the text layer and the smart layers that give you the problems that causes uh, if you try to distort an entire group that's what causes the grade out of distort perspective and all those other functions within Photoshop I hope this helps and thank you for watching